In this video, we're going to take a look at image tags in HTML, working in Visual Studio Code. When we think about websites, we always think about images as well. We use an image tag to add an image. Our image tag, we type the following, IMG. Each image tag requires the source. We type source equals. In between our quotation marks, we will put our image. To begin, step one when you have an image is to put it inside of your folder. So my folder is titled HTML Overview, and I took an image of a puppy and put the puppy in that folder. Let me show you. I went to Google and I found this image of a French Bulldog. I did a control click and I saved this image, making sure that I put it in the folder for my website. When I take a closer look at my folder for my website, it is titled HTML underscore overview. I have the image of the puppy here, my index.html, and I also have a page 2.html. It's very important that you place your images all inside of the folder. So much of web design is about file management. If I have my image placed inside of that folder, when I come to source and begin to type it will show me this image of my puppy. Now I also want to make sure that for accessibility that I add an alt tag. Here I will add a description of the image that I am seeing. This information will be used for people who are using screen readers to view the images. A screen reader reads to a person who may have visual impairment. I'll type French Bulldog Puppy. When we take a look at our image tag, we can see that it's a little bit different than our other tags in that it doesn't have a closing tag, that it doesn't require an opening and a closing tag like the H1 tags and the P tags. Let's take a look at this. We save and we come to our live server. The image of my puppy has appeared. Again, our HTML is reading from top to bottom. 